So is owning stocks a risky way to invest? We're gonna talk about that. Welcome to the Maluli Asset Show. I'm your host, Tom Maluli. A question that we get asked all the time, isn't owning stocks risky? Well, uh, if you go to the website investor.gov, and .gov is always a government website, so it was written by the SEC. On investor.gov, it reminds us <clears throat> that uh, there's no guarantee of profit when you own a stock, and so, Doing that, owning a stock, makes stocks the most risky investments, one of the most risky investments out there. I don't know about that. So I just want to clarify, stocks may not be necessarily risky. Stocks, though, are volatile, and you got to know the difference. So I'll put it in a simple analogy, especially since we're getting close to baseball season as we're recording this. If your favorite hitter uh, connected three out of four times, would you say he's a failure? Absolutely not. They, he'd be the best hitter in the Hall of Fame. So know that on average, stocks go up about three, every, three out of every four years. It's not exact, but it's pretty close. Three out of four t years, you're gonna see stocks moving up. But every year, every year, there is something that comes along that's gonna make us nervous. It's gonna make us worry. It's gonna make us doubt that we did the right thing. It rattles folks, what, whatever the news is. It could be interest rates, it could be an economy, it could be anything, but it's gonna make us think about whether we did the right thing and maybe we should sell. And that's usually where people start to screw up because something comes along every single year. I want to point something out to you. When I started my career in the mid 80s, the Dow Jones in my first day of work was bouncing around 1400. Today, we don't even have the same companies in Dow Jones Industrial Average, but that average is now 32,000 as we're recording this in March of 2023. I want you to know that in every single one of those years from 1985 through today, something, something has come along to make people nervous, to make them worried. So expect it. What really matters, what really matters is having the proper allocation of stocks in your investment pie, so to speak. This is where people get it wrong, is they've got too much in stocks, and then they're really worried. They're worried every day about what's the Dow doing? What's the market doing? Where are interest rates? A lot of that stuff is irrelevant. Or people just don't wanna have the risk or the volatility that comes with owning stocks, and so they, they don't have enough, and then they're not keeping up with inflation. You've got to have the proper allocation and working with a financial planner, an investment advisor will help hopefully get that proper allocation down for you. That's the message from today's video. Thanks again for tuning in.